Holy Father was pleased to be informed of the celebration marking the 50th anniversary of the Radio Veritas Asia and Radio Veritas 846. And he sends cordial greetings to you and to all the media professionals, priests, men and women religious, and the lay faithful behind their operations, as well as to all those who listen to the programs they offer. As you thank the Almighty God for the many graces received, His Holiness prays that you may all be renewed in your love of Christ and in turn revitalize your commitment to echo the teachings of Christ, to raise the hearts of the listener to the God of love and truth, to knit among them bonds of evangelical love, to make them conscious of the joys and hopes, griefs and anxieties of the people of this age, especially those who are poor, and to help them undertake the building of a more just and united society. Entrusting the radio stations to the maternal protection of Our Lady, Mother of the Church, and to the intercession of St. Paul VI, who inaugurated it during his apostolic visit in Asia, Pope Francis willingly imparts his apostolic blessing as a pledge of peace and joy in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. This was the important message. Now I add something else. <laughs> Since uh, the Pope wasn't able to be here, but he sent this message, I thought that it will be good also that you receive an image of the Pope. So you can receive that after Mass. But on the other side, there is a prayer, not just to look at the Pope, but to pray for him and for his mission. And just three simple thoughts about this uh, golden uh, jubilee. The first, this initiative was successful because it was well grounded. And the goal, as we heard, was to spread the good news, the truth. The church is missionary, or it doesn't exist. This initiative was under the sign of the mission to spread with creativity, with the new means, but always to spread the gospel. Second, how? What is the method? Through unity and communion. We have seen in the history, it was just a single initiative. There was a communion of effort, of thinking, of doing, of helping from the East, from the West, Catholic. Anytime we build in communion, there will be good result according to the Gospel. Anytime we are not able to work together, there are no good results. And we cannot celebrate the Eucharist if we are not united. And third, I was asking why Radio Veritas and no Television Veritas. <laughs> I leave the answer to the experts, but I take something very important for each one of us. If Jesus is the Word of God, we have to listen to him. And you can't watch the radio, but you can listen to the radio. And it reminds us that we are always listeners of the world. If we don't listen to the world with Jesus, we are not based in the truth and we are not free. So in this golden jubilee, always remember and build on the spirit of mission on the method of unity and always listening to the voice of God 
that speak in Jesus, in the scriptures, but also with whatever is our life today. Thank you very much and God bless you. And now I invite all the bishops here to give the apostolic blessing together so that, yes, 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 there are plenty of things. But at the end we arrive at the blessing, that will be the final point. <laughs> so this blessing for the next 50, 100 and more Amen. years of activity.